Hi guys and welcome to this video. This is Jamie from System22 and GreatWebDesign.com. In this short video, we're going to show you how to optimize your images both for speed and SEO purposes. This is always a great idea because the faster your site loads, that's always a good thing. And SEO, search engine optimization, is how your site gets found when people search for various key terms and words. So I've got a, an image here, it's pretty big, and I want to make it smaller. Let's have, let's have a look, see what the size is on this thing. 141 kilobytes, that's not actually too bad. Let's see if we can make it smaller though. And the smaller we make it, the faster it's going to load. And that's always a good thing. So I've gone to a site here called tinypng.com. I'll leave the link below this video. And this is great for optimizing uh, .ping or .jpg files for size. So if I just drag this image over and drop, drop it in there, you see it's got it right there. It's compressed it or it is compressing it at the moment. And there we are. We've cut it in half basically. Our new size is 74.3. So I just hit the download button and download that. Now I'll go back to my old folder. I'll just re rename my old one so it doesn't overwrite it. Just hit the F2 key there. Now my new one, I'm just going to drag it into my folder. I'm just going to move the folder off this active pane right here and drag it into my folder there. So that's it. Here's our new one. Let's make sure it still looks good. Yeah, that still looks fine. And that's, you know, you can zoom in. It's pretty good resolution. And it's half the size that it was just now, which means it'll load twice as quickly. Okay, so that's step one. We've optimized our image for speed time there by making it smaller. Now we want to optimize it for SEO. What I'm going to do here is I'll just pull up another site. And again, I'll, I'll leave the link down, the work, down below. You can use uh, Google Keywords or anything that you like to use. It's a great free one here at keywords, keywordtool.io. And I'm just going to put in my keyword of photography. Or you can put in a long tail keyword or home photography or amateur photography. However you want to do it. I'm going to hit the search icon. And it brings up a whole bunch of keywords here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go through, I'm going to select a few of these that I think um, are applicable to the website that I'm building here. Obviously, it's a good idea. You can do a, a lot more in-depth study of the, the keywords that you want to use. And I'm just going through and I'm checking the ones that I like here. So I've just selected a few there. Now I'm going to hit this little orange copy button down the bottom here. And bring up a notepad. And I can just hit Control V or right click and paste and it's put those keywords in there for me. And you may say, well, why do I want these? First thing you want to do is put a comma after each one. That way you can load multiples at a time. And let's go back to our photo or our image. Now I want to right click 
hit the properties I want to go over to details here now here we can start putting in our keywords or phrases if you have phrases and the tags you can put the whole lot in there and in the comments you can put something that's that's relevant to the site you're building and then make sure you've got some of your keywords in there it's probably not a good idea to overstuff but but stuff that's relevant and meaningful and that when search terms that people are going to search for and again in the author section we can put a little something in there copyright again more keywords in there and you can go through there's many of these fields I'm just using the same one but you probably want to mix it up with a few different ones that way all these keywords are in this photographer and it will be picked up in searches and will help your SEO for your site when people are searching these key these terms will be picked up so once you've uh, optimized the description there of course you want to optimize the title as well you can also put in your area or your state or even your, your zip code and that will help you with the, lo the local Google local pack search there so we've pretty much optimized that image right now we've optimized it for speed and we've put in some SEO terms so let's put it into to a site I've just got a WordPress site here I'm just gonna add my media pull my image over and over here when it's it's got you can put for the alt text you want to put some more SEO terms in the alt text whatever is relevant to what you're doing and some more SEO and description terms in the description here all of this will help you so in when you're done insert it into your post and that's it that image is now not just an image that looks nice it's also got all kinds of great details that will help your site get ranked as well as loading quickly because we've often optimized it for speed also so there you have it there was a short little video I hope you found that useful uh, how to optimize your images for your websites for both speed and search engine optimization again I'll put the links we've used below this video so you can go to uh, tinybpng.com and also the keyword tool we're using the free version here and that's good for most people's uses you can upgrade to the pro version if you want to it will cost you a little bit but I find that this free version is, is works fantastically so there you have it how to optimize your images for SEO and speed once again this has been Jamie from system 22 and greatwebdesign.com if you've enjoyed this video please subscribe to our channel and keep up to date for new tricks and tips thanks for watching now have a great day